All right, lip augmentation, lip lift. So lips are hot. I do what's hot, that's the key. Um, I'm actually a good candidate for a lip lift, to be honest. See how long my upper lip is? I used to get made fun of when I was young, when I was trying to grow a mustache, because my upper lip is so long. So you make a little incision under the nose like that. It's a bulldog, or a bullhorn incision it's called. And then you lip the lift a little bit. Personally, not my favorite procedure. I think it can be a little unnatural. But nowadays, putting some volume in the lips, using a little bit of a filler, one of these hyaluronic acids, or even some fat and some uh, fat or PRP combination can really volumize that lip. What it can do is if you look at the profile, it improves the amount of red lip you see from the side, also from the front. So pull it up a little bit, and we're able to kind of create those contours. You can, you can augment what people already have. That's kind of the easiest, most straightforward thing to do. Sometimes you can change the architectures if you put it in the right spot. So lip augmentation with either a lip lift, which is surgical excision of the skin above the lip, or uh, adding some volume to uh, augment the contours of the lip. We could also do the uh, silicone implants in the lip. Again, not my favorite. I've done them in certain patients that are resistant or for whatever reason won't do the fillers. Um, but you know, the fillers have beat us in a lot of ways. So they, they've allowed us to really do these procedures for people and they can go to dinner that night. What's better than that? You gotta come back and see us in six months to a year. We got good coffee.